Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rain Lee and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, if you guys are returning subscribers, you probably noticed that I've kind of dropped the music name from my channel name. That's because my channel is not going to be that focused on music anymore. So, yeah. And today is my very first episode of a brand new series that I'm doing, Freaky Encounters. And also, I'm also going to be doing other content. I'm going to be doing travel vlogs. When I start uni, I'm going to vlog about uni life. I'm also going to do vlogs and I'm going to do like storytelling about my daily life, my daily experiences. And I'm also going to be doing some storytelling based on fictional creative writing. So, Freaky Encounters is basically 100% non-fictional. It's all encounters. First person encounters from me. Some of them have photographic and videographic evidence. So if you guys are like the squeamish type, please don't continue watching this because it will scare out of you because it's kind of scared out of me. So like the the story starts, the whole thing starts in school. It's break time and I just had my lunch in the cafeteria. And it's around 1 p.m. or something like that. And then I walk to the toilet because I have to go to the toilet. And my school is really weird. Like the cafeteria is here. It's one big place. It's like very big. It can seat around like 500, stu not 500, like 300 to f 300 to like let's say 300 students because there's like around 30 tables and each table can seat 10 people. So around 300 students. And it's very weird because there's no toilets anywhere nearby but instead you have to walk all the way inside the building the main building it's like not connected you have to walk inside the main building and then you have to turn and then you have to turn again so on the way to the toilet there's like the dance slash drama room and then it's filled with mirrors all around the place and there's like locks on the doors whenever it's not being used and that day it wasn't being used so the doors were locked no one could possibly have gone in so on the way to the toilet right i noticed there was like i could see there was someone in the dance room but i didn't really care because like okay maybe that's a teacher practicing her moves or something i don't know maybe a student's using it but then i noticed the, i noticed the lock on the door but i didn't really care i was like okay Maybe the lock's just there because, I don't know, maybe it's like just something a lot of people do is in Malaysia is that they, instead of locking the door, they would just put the lock over there just to show for security purposes, I guess. So I went to the toilet and I went to pee. Then I finished peeing. So I was a real hygiene freak, so it took me about like 5 minutes to wash my hands, usually at that point in time. So there was a poster, 7 steps how to wash your hands, so I always followed that poster. And what happens next was like creepy as Because I'm gonna tell you guys So the toilet layout is kind of like Here are the wash basins Then there's like a row of cubicles here And then there's shower cubicles next to it And behind are the urinals The main entrance of the toilet is here The wash basins are here I was there washing my hands And I was there alone or so I thought. So if anyone came to the toilet, I would have noticed them because the door was right there and there was a mirror behind me. It's like a full wall mirror. Then I just heard a noise coming from one of the toilet cubicles and I thought, okay, maybe that's like someone in there or something. Then I was like, I don't remember anyone coming in though. Then at the point in time, I just froze and I'm like, okay. Because we had heard stories from our teachers, like, the part, that part of the school used to be a burial ground. So, I was kind of freaked out, but I was like, okay, it doesn't matter. Because if you don't do anything stupid, the, the spirits or ghosts won't come and find you. I was, I was like, terrified at the point in time already. Then this other guy came to the toilet, and they walked to the toilet. The next thing we witnessed was like crazy as Cause I swear, I, I swear We heard footsteps coming from behind us 
Like, this guy just came to the toilet. He just came in to wash his hands, okay? So then both of us looked at each other and we were like, I hear footsteps, but I don't see anyone. That was what the guy said. I hear footsteps, but I don't see anyone. I'm like, yeah, me too. I was like, I'm very sure I was alone in the toilet before you came. And he stays in the dorm and he has had some paranormal encounters before me. So he was really creeped out by that. The next five seconds, something happened that literally scared the out of our life. The mo the, there was like a bunch of cleaning supplies in the corner. The mop started levitating in the air. Like, like let's say this is the mop, right? And this is the floor. The mop literally started levitating like that and I was like, holy <laughs> And I was like, Buddha, please protect me. And then the other guy's a Christian, so he keeps saying Hail Mary, Hail Mary. He's a Catholic, he keeps saying Hail Mary, and I'm like, Buddha, please protect me. And I keep saying that non-stop, you know. And then the mob gets flung across the room onto the window. Like, guys, right now I'm having chills down my spine. Because I can swear that was the freakiest experience of my life. And the mob gets thrown across the room, it hits the window, and guess what? A teacher comes in. Like... The teachers happen to come in and then teachers stare at us and like Oh you guys, you guys in so much trouble, you broke the window with the mop. I'm like, sir, we did not touch the mop, the mop move the mop move on its own. And he's just like You guys don't have to lie. If you tell me the truth, you don't have to pay for the window. And we're like, no sir, we're serious. And then the broom starts levitating and the teachers like all freaked out. Because, okay, he's a new employee. He just came in that year. It was just my first semester there. It was his first semester there. It was that student's first semester there. But the students stayed in the dorms. So, yeah. Since the students stayed in the dorms, well, they had much more time to experience this kind of stuff. The teacher didn't stay there. So, he stayed about, like, quite far away from the school. So, he was really freaked out by the experience. And... The three of us just ran up the toilet screaming. On the way out, we passed by the girls' toilet. So when we were on the way out of the corridor, we passed by the girls' toilet and then we saw four girls lying down on the floor. One of them Muslim, one of them Buddhist, one of them Hindu, one of them Christian. So we ended up calling a Buddhist monk, a Hindu monk, a Muslim Imam and a Christian pastor, all four of them went into the toilet, prayed for them, and all four of the girls reacted like so violently. At this point in time, I knew, like, okay, this school is haunted as. Anyway, I left that school within one year because I couldn't stand the. Let me tell you guys, freaky encounters, a lot of this stuff are gonna be coming from that school because I had so many freaky encounters that some paranormal some just not so normal and some of them just out of this world but not paranormal yeah. if you guys were truly creeped out by that please subscribe turn on notifications and can assure you there will be a lot more freaking encounters